friends i am honored to reach at the pinnacle of the icii dubai chapter by grace of god blessings of parents and especially with your vote and support as you would be aware that hidayat sheikh mohammed bin zaid al nahyan president of the uae and ruler of abu dhabi has declared the theme sustainability for the year 23 24 so i also decided to use the same theme for the year sustech through innovation means sustainable technologies to be used through innovating new ideas so green color in the logo symbolizes our karam bhumi ue and the orange color symbolizes our janam bhumi india which shows the collaboration between ue and india so all in all it has become the flag of india which represents us the icii the transition from orange to green symbolizes the new wave of sustainability through technology and innovation during the year 23 24 under my chairmanship we will be focusing on sustainability technology innovation and grc governance risk and compliance so when it comes to compliance we will focus on uae corporate tax transfer pricing and aml law as you are aware that recently abu dhabi accountability authority announced the adoption of code of ethics based on the standards issued by the international ethics standard board for accountants these standards will be applicable from 31st december onwards which will be the ethical foundation of sustainability apart from other three key areas of sustainability which are social environmental and economic this code of ethics will have the rules of ethical behavior and the basic principles of related concepts which include integrity objectivity efficiency due diligence confidentiality and professional behaviors in conclusion sustainability is not just a buzzword it is a critical issue that we need to address as a society as accountants we have a critical role to play in this effort the theme of india's g20 presidency is vasudev kutumbam or one earth one family one future at the end my message to each one of you is let's work together to create a more sustainable future for ourselves and for future generations i look forward to welcome each one of you and your spouse as well to grace our first inaugural iftar event on the topic bridging the gap health and wealth on sunday 2nd april thank you